create custom MCP servers and publish them to the cloud. 24 seven availability instead of running locally. Create your custom MCP with just natural language, no code solution and runs 24 seven. Seamless integration with Claude Desktop, Cursor, Winds of AI and other AI agents framework. Imagine waking up tomorrow, your MCP servers running 24 seven in the cloud no need to keep your computer on to provide MCP services or MCP tools. Your team can access the same custom tools what you created. Create new capabilities just with your natural language. MCP tools available anywhere at any time. Traditional MCP servers, you need to run locally on your computer. Complex setup and configuration requires coding knowledge to create. But cloud MCP servers available 24 seven, one click publishing, Create just with your natural language. Just three steps. Describe your custom MCP server in natural language, publish to cloud with one click, and connect from your any MCP compatible client. This is all using data button. Easiest way to build application and is built by AI. Starting from creating plans, execute those plans and deploy to production. And now with MCP integration. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can build a MCP tool like this, publish it directly from here and be able to use it on cursor. As you can see here, I asked get stock price of Apple and it's able to give it directly to me. Similarly on Winsor and with AI agents framework. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Thanks to data button for sponsoring this video. So once after you sign in, you will have an interface like this. So this is where we are going to create our new application. So when you take any application, by integrating that with Cursor, WinSurf or Claude Desktop, you are giving superpower with additional context when you develop your AI application or it could be even improving your existing AI application. So these are nothing but API endpoints. So this MCP tool will automatically convert this API endpoints and make it compatible to be used in Cursor, WinSurf and Claude Desktop as MCP tools. That is the power of data button. So I'm going to give you an easy application, creating the new app icon. Here I can clearly describe what application I want to create. So in this case, I'm creating an application from scratch. But in your case, it could be an existing application or an existing endpoint. You can integrate that endpoint in this data button. So in my case, I'm going to describe as create a get stock price application using Y Finance Python package and create backend endpoints. That's it. So here in my case, I mentioned Y Finance Python package. This could be your own application. So you can replace this with your own application endpoints and automatically that will get created. So now I'm going to click continue. I can provide additional requirements if you want to, but I'm going to skip this and provide some inspiration, which I'm going to skip again. By providing images, it can even exactly replicate the same features as well. So for now, I'm going to skip. Here, there are more options such as integration with Superbase, Firebase, Stripe, and much more. For now, to keep it simple, I'm just going to click continue. And now it's creating an app. Now the first step, it's going to give me the list of plan as you can see here. In this mainly, I want to focus on backend API endpoints as you can see here. So I'm going to mention that here, focus on creating only backend with API endpoint. So it's just no code solution and clicking send. Now it automatically chose the step number two. That's what in the plan here. And I can click start task, specifically the second task. Now it's going through the task. You can preview what it's creating at the back end here. So it's an easy user interface, the APIs. So here's the clear differentiation between your front end files and back end files. For now, we're going to focus only on APIs that is back end. But whenever it tries to create the front end, it will be created here. This makes it easy for us to understand what's going behind the scenes. So here you can see in the APIs, there is stock and it wrote all this code automatically. So only thing I provided is natural language. So here it's installing all the required packages automatically, writing the code, API inspect, that is testing the endpoints as well. And it confirms that the endpoints are working correctly. Here I can see it identified an issue and it's trying to fix it by itself. You can see all the logs here. So now it's asking me, I've tested all the endpoints and should I mark it as done? So at this point of time, I'm going to enable MCP at the top, clicking MCP enable. 
So enable MCP. So here you've got clear description on how to integrate that with the Cloud Desktop, Cursor, OpenAI SDK. Now we generated me the configuration with the API key. So I'm going to copy this code. So this is the key which is required. Just keep that copied. So for now, I'm going to go and deploy the application. Just one click deploy. That's easy. And deploy app. Starting deploying. You can see the progress here. You can also review your plan here, which got just completed. You can even add more functionality as it suggests, creating a landing page, a front end, historic price chart, stock search results, watch list, and much more. You can keep on adding. And this data button will automatically create everything for you. Successfully deploy the application. Now I open cursor. They're going to settings, go to MCP. There you can add your new global MCP server and paste the configuration which you just copied from there. Control S to save. Then I'm closing this like this. And then you can refresh and see the list of available tools from data button. That is really nice. So these are the endpoints. Now I'm going to test this. Clicking close, opening my AI panel. So that is here. So here I can say, get the stock price of Apple. Now it's using the MCP tool which we have just created. And run tool. And here you can see, it's calling our endpoint and getting all the relevant information. And here is the answer, what we asked for. So this is just an example. But instead of this stock price, you can replace that with in-depth research or automated custom data from your own company. It could be a vector database. It could be multiple PDFs. You name it. So this is for Cursor. Similarly, you can do that for Windsurf. So I've opened Windsurf. I'm opening Cascade by pressing Ctrl L like this. There you can see the configure button here. So I'm just going to click that configure and paste the same configuration here and click save. Now I can refresh the tool and click here. I can see all the list of tools here. So that is neat. Now I can test get stock price of Tesla. Now it's running the tool again. As you can see here, it's calling the endpoint and I've got the answer here as easy. Similarly, you can integrate that with AI agents. So here I'm using an agentic framework. And I'm just mentioning UVX data button latest and adding the environment variable data button API key, asking you to get the stock price of Apple. So this is the AI agent. So I'm integrating directly with the AI agent. I can even add multiple tools and multiple agents to work with each other collaboration. So this is just one agent, just as an example, exporting the data button API key, which we have generation from the config, then Python. And it's going to use that tool, as you can see here, get the relevant information, and giving me the answer. So you need to know the power of AI agent. So let's say currently I got only stock price for Apple. Now I'm going to add Tesla and Amazon just in the natural language. So I'm not changing anything, just adding Tesla and Amazon. So see the power here. So running the same code again. So I don't need to write any extra code. The AI searches one by one. First it searched for Apple, then it searched for Tesla, automatically identifying the symbol, then Amazon getting all relevant information, putting it all together and giving me a report. As powerful as that, MCP tools. Similarly, you can do the same on Cloud Desktop, as you can see here. I asked for stock price and it's giving me the answer. Even if you find any issue while building the application, you got AI engineers to talk to directly to fix those issues. As a closing note, I'm really impressed with the performance on how easy it is to create a custom MCP server, publish it directly from this user interface, with just natural language. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like data button, I also created another video about the basics in regards to data button, which I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.